we've been using and seeing the trigonometric ratios sine, cosine, and tangent as they apply to a right triangle. And we've defined them to be sine being the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, cosine being the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, and tangent being the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And those we abbreviate with the first three letters, S-I-N, C-O-S, T-A-N, but the full words are sine, S-I-N-E, cosine, and tangent. If you think about the three sides, opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, there's other combinations that we could put them together in besides these three fractions. And for those other combinations, we have other names. So there are actually six different ways that we can put the uh, sides together in pairs, one on top of the other. Opposite over hypotenuse, well, we could also do hypotenuse over opposite. And instead of adjacent over hypotenuse, we could do hypotenuse over adjacent. And instead of opposite over adjacent, we could do adjacent over opposite. So these can just get flipped over, and once we do that, we've got every possible combination of two of these sides being put together in a fraction. The names that we give these other combinations are secant, S-E-C-A-N-T, cosecant, So just like we had sine and cosine, we have secant and cosecant. And then tangent, uh, we also have cotangent. Secant, cosecant, and cotangent. And we abbreviate these just like we abbreviate sine, cosine, and tangent with the first three letters. We do the same thing here. Secant is the name that we give to the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent. So we're going to use SEC, secant of the angle, is the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent. Sine uh, is opposite over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse over opposite, that's cosecant. I've got a problem here if I use the first three letters COS, well then it looks like cosine. So in order to tell it apart, we instead use CSC for each of the syllables. It's the first letter of each syllable. Co, C, can't. And then cotangent, we use COT. And we've got cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Hypotenuse over opposite, hypotenuse over adjacent, adjacent over opposite. If you use SOCATOA, to remember sine, cosine, and tangent, you could, if you wanted to, use CHOSHAKAU. Choshakau to remember cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Honestly, I find Sokotoa a lot easier to remember how to spell and pronounce than Choshakau, but your mileage may vary. Uh, if you, if you want to use this to remember them, be my guest. The way I would just recommend is just pairing them up. Tangent and cotangent are reciprocals of each other. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, cotangent is adjacent over opposite. As long as I can remember what tangent is, I can remember what cotangent is, because I just flip it over. Cosine and secant are reciprocals of each other. Sine and cosecant are reciprocals of each other. Now, 
it may seem like you want cosine to go with cosecant and sine to go with secant just because if the words sound better so remember that the cos do not go together cosine does not go with cosecant cosine goes with secant cosecant goes with sine that's the way I would recommend remembering it but whatever works for you okay so let's evaluate one of these and see how we do it on a calculator as well say I want the sine of a uh, 60 degree angle now nah, let's do a 30 degree angle the sine of a 30 degree angle if we put it into a calculator or uh, put it into a uh, look it up on a table the sine of a 30 degree angle is one half it's 0.5 But remember that that's the oops, sorry. That's the opposite over the hypotenuse. Whatever the opposite is divided by the hypotenuse, I'm going to get one half. Well, if opposite over hypotenuse is one half, if I want the cosecant of 30 degrees, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so this should be the hypotenuse over the opposite hypotenuse over opposite uh, that means I'm taking the reciprocal of this so I gotta take the reciprocal of this and I'll get 2 now we look on our calculator trying to find that cosecant button and it's just not there there is no cosecant button because it's just the reciprocal of sine and honestly, cosecant, secant, and cotangent are going to be used a whole lot less than sine, cosine, and tangent. So when they make the calculator, they say, okay, we're going to put the buttons on here that you'll use a lot. And if you need secant or cosecant or cotangent, we're just going to let you do the reciprocal on your own. So what I would do if I wanted to find out the cosecant of 30 degrees is I would say, well, I know I need the reciprocal of the sine of 30 degrees. I can take the reciprocal of something by putting it on the bottom of the fraction that has 1 on the top. 1 divided by the sine of 30 degrees is the way you would type in cosecant of 30. Let me write that down here. Cosecant of 30 is 1 over the sine of 30. If I want the cotangent of 45 that's 1 over the tangent of 45 not not the tangent of 1 over 45 be make make sure that you do it this way not that way 